So I want to share a cautionary story that highlights the importance of financial planning and budgeting when purchasing a home. So I met with this family. I met them about a few months ago and they shared this story. It was an astounding story. And full disclosure, I must say that I received permission from this family to share their story in hopes that it could help someone else. But I cannot reveal their names and I cannot reveal the location of the property. The story I'm about to share could be you or someone else that you know. So please watch this video all the way through because I am going to share some specifics about this family. But first, before I go into that, I am Denise Watkins. I'm with the Watkins team, our Eva Sampson Properties. And I want to thank this family for allowing me to come into their home and share this story with you. So this lovely family, they were a very happy family, thought that they had found their dream home. But as you'll soon discover, their journey took a twist that they never even saw coming. So this family had been searching for their dream home for months. They made several offers on properties. They kept getting outbid by higher offers. Some of you may have experienced this, especially if you've been looking for a home over the past few years. They were determined, however, to stay in the game. And then finally, after the long wait, they stumbled upon this five bedroom, four bath, finished basement, gourmet kitchen, three car garage, and a large backyard. Now, it seemed like the perfect home for their family, right? They got excited about the possibility of owning this home. However, amidst all the excitement, they overlooked one crucial step and that was their budget. They knew they would have to bid aggressively on this property and they were not afraid because it was something that they had gotten used to, they were experienced and this time around they had a much more stronger desire to win. So they maxed out their savings, they maxed out their 401k plans and they borrowed money from their parents. They ended up winning the bidding war but they paid a significantly higher price than their budget. Little did they know this impulsive decision was just the beginning of their troubles. Now get this, soon after moving in, reality hits them, they hit them hard. The house that they had overpaid for once seemed perfect was now revealing its true colors. There were major repairs that needed, the air conditioning wasn't working, there was a leak in the basement and they even said the basement flooded when, rain, when it rained heavily due to the drain not being able to maintain that much water. So keep in mind, they used most of their savings and without an emergency plan in place, they had to turn to their credit cards for, and loans to cover these expenses. So as these repairs continued, there were other unexpected expenses like the utility bills that ran high to cover the 6,000 square foot house, child care, the annual front foot fee, and student loans. Their credit card was already maxed out and their interest rate was suffocating them. They were trapped, struggled to maintain their lifestyle and to meet their financial obligations. Finally, when they thought it was hope, the family took out a debt consolidation loan to cover their expenses and that's when reality really hit them hard. They had become slaves to their lender. They didn't have room for uh, leisure, any type of unexpected expenses and this is what you call house poor. The stress took a toll on their family and their dream home quickly turned into a nightmare. So we've all been through some type of financial struggles in our lives, including me. And I'm not here to judge because this story serves as a powerful reminder that careful planning, financial planning is paramount when you're making a significant life decision. Budgeting, saving for emergency, and avoiding impulsive decisions can prevent you and us from falling into the same pitfalls. Let their journey be a lesson to us all. One that encouraged us to prioritize our financial health and well-being. Now, this was one of my most serious videos because I shared some things about this family and what they had to go through, but I am very happy right now for them. You know why? Because when I met with this family, they had no hope. But then after going through their property and their history, we discovered that they had $100,000 of equity in their home. They could have done a loan modification. But they decided that they went through so much stress with this house that they decided to sell and move to something more manageable that they can afford so they can pay off their debt. Now, I hope this video wasn't too long. And if you take anything from this, please remember that your dream home should never come at the cost of your financial freedom. Stay smart, stay informed, and make decisions that will lead you toward a secure and prosperous future. That's it for that now. Before you leave though, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel because you're going to get a lot more than this 
and I will bring you a lot more value. So grab a copy of my home buyer's guide. Also, I promise you, it will give you more, a more empowering financial insight. So thanks for watching. And until next time, take care of your financial well-being. I'm Denise Watkins. See you in the next video.